In this video, we're going to compare the CompTIA Security Plus certification against the ISC Squared Certified in Cybersecurity certification. If you're considering taking one of these, then leave a like down below and let me know in the comments. So to start with, who are they? Well, CompTIA are one of the world's leading IT trade associations with worldwide recognition. They were founded in 1993 and they've become a leader in vendor neutral certifications as they've issued over 2 million of them since. And ISC Squared are very similarly a very large organization who are a non-profit and specialize in training and awareness of cybersecurity professionals. And they both have very popular certifications that are available for beginners. CompTIA have a famous trio of certifications which are the 8 plus, Network plus and Security plus which are probably some of the most popular certifications in the cybersecurity world and ISC squared have the CC which we'll be discussing in this video and the SSCP which improves on technical knowledge in cybersecurity. I've done previous videos so do check them out after this one if you're interested in the other certifications but for now let's focus on the CC by ISC Squared and the Security Plus. So starting off with ISC Squared, the Certified in Cybersecurity is a new exam by ISC Squared. The exam is currently being offered for free as it's part of their pledge to get 1 million people in cybersecurity certified. So if you're thinking about going for this, now is better time than any other time before they start charging for this certification. And their goal is essentially intended for newcomers to get into cybersecurity who have no prior experience. Then on the other hand, for the cybersecurity CompTIA Security Plus certification, it majorly focuses on cybersecurity, just like the ISC Squared one. However, you can think of Security Plus as a more focused version of the Network Plus certification, which we just mentioned. It's worth noting that the Security Plus is one of the most known certifications out there and is regarded as one of the best introductions into cybersecurity. However, as CC is a new one, we'll give it a chance and see how it compares up to Security Plus. So let's start off with looking at the exam format and see how they compare. So first we have the length of exam. So the CC exam is two hours long, whereas the Security Plus is just shorter at 90 minutes. And in terms of questions, you can see they will both ask around the same. So you'll have 100 questions for the CC exam with slightly less at 90 for the Security Plus. So you can already see that that works out at around one question for every minute that you have for the Security Plus. And in terms of the format, you'll have a multiple choice for both of these. However, you will also have performance based questions for the Security Plus. This is essentially designed to test your ability to solve problems in like real world settings. So they can be delivered to you as simulations or within a virtual environment, which is really good to test your knowledge on a specific subject. And in terms of what you need to pass for CC, you will need 700 out of a thousand points. Whereas with Security Plus, you will need 750, which is out of 900. Then, in terms of when the exams were refreshed last, obviously CC is a new exam, so when it was released was 29th of August 2022, and Security Plus, the latest exam refresh was November 7th 2023, which is the one that we'll be talking about in today's video. I do have a video coming out soon where I compare the latest release for the CompTIA Security Plus, which is 701, against the previous release, which you can still take, which is the 601. So if you're interested, subscribe and join my Discord, and I'll let you know when that video comes out, as it really is worth watching if you're considering doing this exam. Then finally, we have the testing provider, and these are both conducted at Pearson View Testing Centers. If you're not familiar with those, do give it a search in Google. I'll also paste a link down below in the description so you can see what that is like. So overall, in terms of exam format, you can see for the CC exam, you get slightly more time. Even though you have 10 more questions, you do have that slightly longer time, which you can probably spend on each question as compared to the Security Plus. However, with the Security Plus, you also have performance based questions, which probably test your knowledge slightly more. So it just depends how you are with exams, whether you want more time or you want less time, because you can see there's a slight difference between the two here. However, the most important section probably comes as topics. Let's look at what both of these have in terms of their certification training and see how they compare. 
So starting off with the CC exam, we'll look at the module and its weighting towards the scoring. So you first start off with security principles, which has a weighting of 26%. You'll look at the CIA triangle, which is confidentiality, integrity, and availability. You'll look at authentication. You'll look at how to understand risk management and get an overview of governance processes, which includes relevant laws like GDPR. Then you'll go on to incident response, business continuity, and disaster recovery. This will carry a weighting of 10% and you'll basically look at the purpose of these, the importance and the components of them. After this, you'll move on to access control concepts, which carries a weighting of 22%. And this is where you'll learn about physical access controls like gated entry, CCTV, and you'll also look at logical access controls like RBAC, which is role based access control and lease privileges. Then you'll move on to network security, which is where you'll learn to understand computer networking. So you'll just look at things like TCP IP models, IPv4, IPv6, and you'll also look at network threats and attacks, and then overall network security infrastructure. So a very important topic. You'll then finally move on to security operations, which carries a weighting of 18%. This is where you'll understand data security, so you'll look at things like encryption and data handling and logging and mon monitoring security events. You'll also look at system hardening and the best practice for security policies. So just things like password policies and acceptable use policies. Everything that you just expect to see as a policy in that kind of environment. So when comparing this with the Security Plus certification, we'll also do the same thing where we look at the module and its weighting. Just remember that these are the domains for the new SY0701 exam, which means it has slightly different domains compared to the 601. Just wanted to bear that in mind so it didn't cause any confusion if you were expecting different domains. The first one we then have is general security concepts, and that carries a weighting of 12%. This will include various types of security controls, fundamental security concepts, and just the importance of change management processes and using cryptographic solutions. So a very, very good topic to cover there. Then we then have threats and vulnerabilities and mitigations, which has a weighting of 22%. And that will include threat actors and their motivations, threat vectors and attack services, and different types of vulnerabilities. And then mitigation techniques and indicators of malicious activity. So 22%, as we just said, for the weighting. We then have security architecture, which will be weighted at 18%. And this includes security implications of different architecture models, concepts, and strategies that you can use to protect data. You'll then have security principles to secure enterprise infrastructure and learn about the importance of resilience and recovery in security architecture. That will then lead you on to security operations, which has a weighting of 28%. And this will include security techniques, security alerting, and monitoring concepts and tools, which is a very key aspect of cybersecurity. You'll then also look into vulnerability management activities and have a look at security implications of proper hardware, software, and data asset management and identity and access management. You'll then finally look at the importance of automation and orchestration in incident response activities. So a very heavy topic, as you can see, compared to the ones already mentioned. Finally, you'll then have security program management and oversight. This includes elements of effective security governance and the risk management process, which also includes things like third party risk assessments and management. You'll also look at the purpose of audits and assessments and general security awareness practices and um, elements of effective security compliance. So another very heavy topic. Overall, comparing the CC and the Security Plus, you can see that the heaviest weighted topics are very different. We have security principles at 26% and security operations for Security Plus at 28%. And I think this comes down to CC being more for beginners. They tend to focus more on the principles and therefore have weighted that a lot heavier. Whereas with the Security Plus, they've looked at being in security operations as you're more likely to be either working in cybersecurity already or you already have those principle knowledge and you're looking to get specifically into cybersecurity. So they've ended up focusing more on the security operations space. So you can start to see 
it depends where you are in your career in terms of which one you should be looking to go towards, which foundational knowledge you have already and which one you should be focusing on as it might be more of a challenge for you. So now that you understand that, let's look at what different types of jobs you can get with both these certifications. The certifications overall will give you a powerful vote of confidence with employers and it will definitely attest to your cybersecurity ability and knowledge having any of these certifications. And typical roles will usually involve around managing an organization's security systems and its policies or implementing security solutions and monitoring their security log. So just a few examples are network or system administrator, security engineer or analyst, or even a network or cloud engineer. These are just a few examples, there's many more. However, I just wanted to show you that if you're thinking of going for one of these types of roles in the future, then these are the certifications that you should consider. So now that you have all that information, which has hopefully been useful for you, what should you actually consider doing? Well, the first thing to say is that everybody grasps cybersecurity concepts differently. For some, it might be more of a challenge, whereas with others, they might gain it very quickly, depending on their experience already. So whichever type of learner you are, you will definitely experience some degree of difficulty with both certifications, as you'll know more knowledge in specific areas. So it's best if you go back to my topic slide and see which one aligns with you the best and you have the best chance at. Obviously, remember that the CC exam is currently free, whereas the Security Plus is not. So that, again, depends on the context of your situation, as it's always specific to that. CC by ISC Squared can be best for you if you have no previous experience in IT or even cybersecurity, as it's more beginner friendly and you get that extra time to answer the questions. Whereas with the Security Plus, although it has no official prerequisites and you can go straight into it, it's more tailored for someone who has previous IT experience or has done that A plus or Network Plus certification. That's not me saying you definitely can't go into it without previous experience as you can. It just depends on what type of learner you are and how much time you have to commit to that revision material. Hopefully that's been useful for you and if it has, please definitely leave a like down below as it massively helps out the video and the channel and it tells me you want me to keep making these types of videos. Don't forget to click the link in the description or the comment section to join my Discord where we talk about cybersecurity and you can ask me any type of questions on these certifications or even just general career specific questions.